Hello everyone, welcome back to Welcome to Elk. I'm Poofy and we are on our way to our home. And we are, we are drunk. Whoa! They got a big smile. Ah. Yeah, so <laughs> we are drunk. Um, the movements that she's making, I'm not entirely making them. She is just... All those houses are on sticks. Like hot dogs. Like little hot dogs on sticks. The Oh my god. It's that bad. But I, I only drank like three or four. Boutiquen. Boutique. Ah, is that a boutique? Like a clothing store. Is this the house I'm living in? Stop vomiting all over the place. Hey, look. It's a house. Is this my house? This is a house. Is it, is it my house? I think it is. This must be home. I don't even care. I'm so drunk and tired. I'll work it out tomorrow. Can we please go to the bathroom first? If you, I don't want you to vomit all over the place. You know what? Let's go to bed. The, the bed looks so good. It does, doesn't it? Huh? I'm on a boat? But I only just got here. And who's that? Hi, Frigg. What? Wait. I know you. You were at the bar. But... Aren't we still at the bar? Oh, sure, Frigg. We can be at the bar. Oh, yeah. See, I knew we were at the bar. Right. What the hell? Oh, hey. Hey, it's you again. Hi, Frigg. You were the weird guy at the bar. And on the boat. Crapper, wait. I mean, you're not weird. I just mean that you look weird. I mean... Oh, let's talk later. What the hell is going on? Hi there. Hi there, Frigg. It's so nice of you to let me stay. And even though you're like old, I'm sure we can be friends, right? I mean, I'm not saying that you are old. It's just that you are. Thank you, Frigg. Uh, however, if you were old, there's nothing wrong with being old. Right? Uh, what, what I mean is, I'm, I'm just gonna stand over there. The Mr. Guy! Hi, Frigg. You are funny. Now that it's bad to be funny. Wait, if it's bad, then it is bad? But I don't mean that you're bad. Unless you are bad? Thank you, Frigg. Oh my gosh, sorry, I don't think you're bad. Now you're gonna think that I'm bad. But I'm not bad. I'm just gonna go, I'm sorry. You know, this is the worst. I'm the worst. Starry Sky again. Ugh, my head. Did I really say all that last night? Yuck. I don't know, did you? Let's... Okay, time for a palate cleanser. I sure feel better once I unpack a little. Great, so let's... Oh, wait, let's unpack the Build a House, Talk, Eat, Kiss and Die game. From the makers of Same Same But Different, this is The Sims. I know it's silly, but I can't help but carry this game everywhere I go. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a computer to play it on. Uh, I guess old habits die hard. Okay, what should I unpack next? <gasps> Robo Troll was sent from the future to live under bridges and rock out. You and me, Robo Troll, rocking out the new digs. What else? Looks like a fridge full of elk delicacies. Yum! Okay, and what about this? Look how cute this fire is. Wish I wasn't so crap at heating up this house, though. Okay, well, I think that the soundtrack is pretty neat. Yeah, we don't have anything else yet, but man, this game... I like it. Wait, what do we have to do? Is there something... Oh, we have to unpack some more stuff here. Picked up this on the day me and mom walked around Dyerhaven. It was on a warm, lush autumn day. 
Nice to have something to think of mom. Especially since this is the furthest I've ever been from her. And left behind. I love this cartoon. So I can't believe they cancelled it. I hope it gets renewed somehow. Always gotta respect the cartoon classics. That episode when Trich ingests the solar system still cracks me up. Phew, that's better. Although a real crapper, I can't see any internet. I can ask Jan about it later. I should really head down to his workshop anyway. Still feel pretty rough though. Yeah, you uh you need to drink some water, miss. Oh, what is this? Hey, someone here is a really good painter. This looks like it's from something really cool. I love this. I am crazy enough to like this a lot. Oh my god, was that me? It's horrible. It smells so bad. I really hope it disappears before someone sees it. Yeah, maybe we should just clean it up and not walk through it. Disgusting. So we can probably interact with things that are colored, like this flag. Is this their national flag? I hope it is. <laughs> that looks so cool. Right, so head back to the workshop. There's the squid thing. Uh, that squid is holding a knife. Yeah, I'm not getting any closer. Why is it holding a knife? Those sure are some fresh fish. They indeed are. They indeed are. So here we are, right? This is the workshop, wasn't it? Uh, should I talk to them first? Oh, uh, wood goes up, wood goes down. Indeed. Obviously on top of the situation. Mm, all right then. But if you need a hand, just let me know. The man is definitely nothing but trouble. Anyway, I'll get the stool fixed up for you. Well, that's just fantastic. You really do have a magic touch, Jan. In that case, I'll leave you to it. Besides, looks like you just have a visitor. Morning. Sorry if I'm a little late. No apologies necessary. Last night must have been a lot to take in. Oh, it was. You got home okay? Yeah. <laughs> From the trail of stomach shrimp she left, I would say she got home okay. Oh no. You saw it? I'm so sorry. It was hard to miss. It looks like you were trying to paint the whole island. <laughs> but no, don't you worry. We'll take care of it. You're only your guest after all. Maybe you think to bring a bucket with you next time? Oh, crapper. Won't happen again, I swear. And uh, we all got a good laugh out of it. So did the whole town. Anyway, I'll be going, Jan. Thanks again. Mm-hmm. I like it. I what um what what do we need to do with this game? It's so good. This workshop is amazing, Jan. There's so much to look at. Very kind of you to say. That mechanical bird is also pretty neat. So listen, I know you'll be eager to get started today, but I think you'd benefit having a day to get accustomed to your new home. Take the time to wander around, explore the island. Oh, really? I was kind of hoping to get stuck in. I'd be happy to help you with that boat outside. It looks stunning. Ah, well, don't worry. It's not going anywhere fast. Trust me, take the day for yourself. Talk to some people. Uh, okay, sure, I guess. Only because you're insisting. But I'm going to work twice as hard tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, enjoy yourself. I'm going to see... Whoa, I'm going to see to some things. But I'll see you later. Okay, it's a little bit... It's a shame that we can't help him. So much for getting stuck in on my first day. Ugh, I'd much rather help out on this awesome boat. Although I guess it is nice to take it easy with this hangover. Yeah, you shouldn't have drunk that much. So, the obvious thing I usually do is always go back to the beginning. That's a life same thing. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's, I cannot do anything with the seal. And nothing on the boat, apparently. So, so far for exploring this area, that means that we can only go upwards towards our house. 
and see if there's a pathway there that we can continue. Maybe the painter is uh, finished. You know what? We can also go to the... What was that rustling? Is someone following me? Oh, nobody knows. No, at least there are, there's more rustling. Okay, it definitely feels like someone is following me. What if it's that gross guy from last night? She just try and stay calm. Oh, I will. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe I'm just imagining things. Ah! Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Ghosts can be scary, I know. Uh, yeah, you kind of did scare me. Um, weren't you at the bar last night? We didn't really get to... Wait. Did you just say ghosts? Oh, uh, yes, it makes sense because you're new. Always happens with the new ones. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we are dead. I'm sorry, what? Trust me, I know all about dying. I nearly died a hundred times, maybe more. So when I say we're dead now, I mean it. Because you never forget the day you actually do die. Let me explain. What? You see, I used to work as a fisherman. I'm sure I was a pretty good one too. But one night out on the sea, something was wrong. I could feel it in my bones. The clouds darkened and the water jumped and smashed me with one big mighty punch. I felt the wet all around me, inside and out. I knew that finally this time I would be dead for sure. True enough, when I opened my eyes, here I was. I had arrived in the afterlife, Elk. What are you talking about? Um, I guess I can see why you would think that. Yes, exactly. Now you get it. But that isn't all. I need your help, Fri. Please follow me. Sure. You're acting a little bit weird, my man. Hey, there's something here. Oh, look at this. That's some pretty cool drawings. Right on. So, uh, what now? Boutique. Oh, there's the boutique. It's a store. A cave? Wait, Anders, why did you bring me to a cave? This is my home. Come on in. You know what? I will. 